Okay, today's another pout pout fish. The pout pout fish and the bully bully shark. Deep in the ocean on a warm, gentle day bubbled lots of lovely laughter and the sounds of happy play. Look, it says, welcome to Tummy Tickle Park. Mr. Fish, his pals, and buddies were together at the park, having fun and feeling, feeling welcome, when along came. What do you think came? A uh, shark. Look how big it is. <laughs> the shark showed his teeth, and he growled as he swam. Move aside, micro fishies. It's my turn, scram. Mr. Fish shrank back. And he felt very strange. The bright morning tilted and the park began to change. It wasn't a fun place anymore with a bully there. The friends all around him seemed to shrink back too. Mr. Fish's face flattened. Oh, I don't know what to do. Shark acted badly. Being mean is wrong. But I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? The water slowly calmed and the fish found, the friends found their way back to laughter-filled frolic and a cheery, cheery day. But the shark came round again and he used a bad name. He shouted, get lost, I'm the boss of this game. Mr. Fish shrank back with his feelings in a lump. Fear grew inside him in a weird, heavy clump. The friends all around him seemed to shrink back, too. Mr. Fish's face furrowed. Oh, I don't know what to do. This is a furrow. You can go like this with your face. Shark acted badly. Being mean is wrong, but I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? The friends tried again to enjoy their favorite park, but the shadow of their worries made the day seem dark. The unmentioned tension grew when Shark reappeared. He stole a guppy's lunch. Fear the fin, he sneered. Mr. Fish shrank back and his innards did a flop. His feelings tumbled jumbled. Would the awful ever stop? Look what he's taking. He's taking their lunchbox. What a meaning. The friends all around him seemed to shrink back, too. Mr. Fish's face fizzled. Oh, I don't know what to do. Shark acted badly. Being mean is wrong. But I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? It would be hard to stand up to a big fish like Shark. He turned to leave the park, feeling sad through and through. Then slowly came a thought. There was something he could do. Words can make a difference when things go wrong. Yes, I'm only one fish, but my voice is strong. Mr. Fish turned back and directly faced the shark. It was time to talk straight about what happened in the park. Mr. Shark, said Fish, you have broken up our fun. Bully isn't who you are, but it is what you have done. Oh, I didn't show it to you. It's too into the story. The things you did were mean, and that's not what we expect. So please leave us till you're ready to treat us with respect. As Mr. Fish spoke up and his words rang out loud, the friends all around him formed an upstanding crowd. Together they were stronger. Now none of them were scared. They cared about each other and the ocean that they shared. Soon Mr. Fish was laughing and his friends were having fun, taking turns and using empathy, each and every one. The park filled again with the joyful sounds of play, plus the confidence of knowing how to keep it that way. Here are the park rules. Be kind, be fair. If something goes wrong, speak up. And have fun. We are kind, we are fair, we are all potential friends. So speak up when we need to. 
that's how bullying ends. And see, he's playing with them now. There we go. That was a great book. All right. Have a very good day today, boys and girls. Work hard for me. See you later.